On this week's vlog, I somehow score an all expenses paid trip to Sydney. Lewis swears way too much. Oh, f you actually pointing it at me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we actually get up to some kind of car stuff. Oh, this thing's got a hucko front on it as well. And we get up to a lot of <laughs> dumb stuff also. <laughs> oh, it's doing skins. All courtesy of the sideways experience. Man, they weren't wrong when they said vlogging at the airport is all good, but. I've gotten a really cool opportunity here thanks to the sideways experience. I'm basically gonna be drift squid but on wish so <laughs> we'll be uh, catching up with Lewis soon and the boys when we get there and yeah bring you along the way. See you soon. just arrived and we are waiting on our lift. If you have been watching Squid's channel, Drift Squid, or uh, Grant Anderson's channel uh, lately, you'll know who this guy is. Uh, and that is Lewis from Sideways Experience, who's flown me down here, so very pumped on this. It's gonna be a fun week. Here he is, Big Lewis. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh yeah, good one. Your shadow blocked everything. Come on, man. Not just a walking shadow. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> We had a lot to do in the workshop, it was quite busy and no one really wants to watch that so I'm just going to use YouTube magic quickly. I seriously wish it was that easy because we had some late nights moving a lot of stuff but the workshop is done now so let's move some cars, um, that's a bit more entertaining. Oh this thing's got a hot dog front on it as well? No way! <laughs> How do you drive this with your head sticking out? There's so many things going from the top of the top. Just moving, just moving the Z. And uh, the rotisserie has just, oh, that's not gonna pick it up because it's so dark. The rotisserie has just split into two. Thankfully, no damage yet. yet. But uh, yeah, we've got to try and fix that before it moves. This is wild. I'm in Sydney, towing out a 240Z and other cars, but this is my dream car right here. I'm just sitting underneath a warehouse in Sydney in a workshop. So cool to look at. I love these cars. You can't beat them. Oh, look at that. 240's all loaded. Sad sight because it should be going Oh, well, actually, I'm not gonna say my address on the internet. It's probably not the smartest idea, but oh. Look at it! Oh my god! One day, one day, 
That's gonna be on the channel. Not that car, but another one. Uh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, beautiful. So we've been moving a heap of stuff in the workshop, a heap of cars. Still gotta do this uh, MX-5 onto the trailer. But yeah, I haven't filmed anything since I've been here because we've just been flat stick the whole time. But I had to film the 240 because it's just such a beautiful car. So this is going to be the coolest trailer ever on airbags and then that keeps going up and you know when to turn it off and then that's the release valve to let it out. Such a cool trailer for low cars. This is Abdul's trailer from All Street. Obviously he knows what he's doing because you can tell he's uh, moved a few cars with this. I don't know if you've seen GDRs for sale in Australia but if you have he's probably selling it. Super nice food and um... Yeah, has some cool cars. The next day. This place is way too nice for me. Oh, what the oh, <laughs> so this is the room. This is pretty crazy. My room, courtesy of the Sideways experience. Again, can't thank them enough. You guys are amazing. I'm in Sydney. A couple hours ago, I was not, <laughs> and I had no idea about this, so this is cool. So, what am I doing in Sydney? Well, if you haven't heard of a company called the Sideways Experience, Sideways Experience is a uh, drifting hire car for a BC circuit, and then you've got SideX, which is also a partner company uh, that is the workshop. Um, they also import cars, they do a lot of stuff. Anyway. My mates are working over in Japan at the Sideways Experience and they're coming to Sydney. Uh, I knew they were coming to Sydney, it was quite last minute as well, just to help pack up the shop finally, because um, it was originally based in Sydney. So they want to pack up the shop, all the tools, everything, finally put it in containers, send it over to Japan. Um, basically, it's pretty funny. I was at work, working late, um, and I get a message and my mates like, does anyone want to come down and help in Sydney? And I was like, as a joke, I'm like, yeah, pay for my flights and my accommodation and I'll come down because I had the next couple of days off. Um, oh, because it was over a weekend. And uh, he rung me and said, are you serious? Because like, we actually will, the boss will do that. And I was like, you kidding me? Uh, when's the flight? Um, and basically the flight was like, eight hours from that phone call <laughs> so then when I finished work I went home packed my bag got a couple hours sleep and then flew straight down to Sydney uh, first thing the next morning since I've been here I've not stopped but it's been really good I'm basically working on cars all day moving car parts cool cars as well tools to go to Japan which is my dream anyway is to end up in Japan so anyway that's basically the story, and now I'm in Sydney. This is going to be, I don't even know how this vlog's going to go. It's going to be a lot different to the others, obviously. I don't think I'm going to get too much car content, but I'm definitely going to explore Sydney now that um, we finish work on the final day, or last night. And the boss, Lewis, he's amazing. To celebrate us finishing doing all that manual labor, he took us out to the casino last night. We got absolutely we enjoyed ourselves um, and you put us up in the Hilton as well so it's, it's been an unreal experience to get flown down I can't thank Sideways Experience and Lewis, Steph enough it's been awesome and next time I'm in Japan which will hopefully be the end of the year for the final Matsuri of the year I got a free day at uh, Sideways Experience so make sure you subscribe and um, you're following along because we will be Drifting potentially a chaser at Abisu Circuit, which is unreal to say because when I went to Abisu, I just wanted to get even like a passenger lap out on some of the tracks like Nishi and North Course. They're so iconic, and to think that I might be driving is unreal. So, ran over, 
now you know. Um, and stick around for a bit. I'm going to do a bit of B-roll, but I also have some really cool news coming up. So. busy for me since I'm from such a small town and it's very awkward to vlog with everyone looking but we're gonna get a coffee and then I'm gonna give you some updates on the S30. We linked up with the boys and now we thought it was a good idea to just get bikes and uh, ride in front of trams. Do not ride under the influence. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go try and find the Harbour Bridge or Opera House or something, I don't know, just go exploring. So follow me for more travel vlogs. No. No, I don't think I will. Fuck my fucking steering wheel. <laughs> That's straight. <laughs> One hander, oh. Well. <laughs> this, is, this is exciting. All right, so now that I've had my coffee, I can uh, tell you some news that I was talking about last night. All right, so now that we've had our coffee, um, yeah, I can talk about the stop. Alright, so now that we've had our coffee and we've had a bit of fun, uh, had a we have had a coffee. <laughs> so last night we were talking about um, how expensive the car market is in Japan and uh, it occurred to me that I have a drift car and I want a drift car at Ibisu, so the rough price for a drift car at Ibisu is you can get 350Zs for about 5 ish grand nowadays, which is way too, five grand too much for a 350Z if you ask me. <laughs> Shut up. 350Z owner right here. Um, so what I was thinking is, because it'll be cheaper, is I could potentially send my S13 over um, with the help of Lewis to a Bisu um, and store it there. So I might have a car to Bisu. So now, uh, we're gonna try and get the S13 running, shaken down here before I send it over and then straight over to Ibisu and then I might have an Ibisu car because where I live we do not have any tracks whatsoever. No. You're not allowed. <laughs> That's my place. I have his cars at my house. I'm gonna ship them over <laughs> and I'm gonna crash his S14 into his 350Z. Pub. So that's the plan. Pub. But for now, we're gonna go pub because pub. this bloke is too angry and he's doing my head in. Pub. So Johnny was too scared to ride down the stairs, so we're gonna so have to you. turn around. I was Don't gonna do it. Me. I was gonna do it, but we made it to Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a on Let's see if we can make it. Insurance. Nearly died multiple times. For some reason, John's trip was $9.50 and ours was $29.50 each, so we got ripped off, but we had fun. All right, so we walked into the shop that we just found and it is so cool. I gotta show you around. It's like a, it's like a pop-up shop um, and we just left the bikes out in front, but this is sick.
<laughs> so we got Lewis and Fausto some presents. I got half fucking whatever, I'll wear it. <laughs> Stop swearing, I'm not as smart as Jake to do the beep count. <laughs> oh, okay. This is this is gonna take me three hours to edit. We're rocking up to the airport now. Can't thank Lewis enough for oh, sideways yeah, experience. Just thanks Lewis, appreciate it. <laughs> but thank you for flying me down and helping. Oh yeah. fuck, you actually pointing it at me. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> hey Lewis, thank you man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. I had a great time. It was good to see my friends again too and work on cars. So, arigato! Arigato! Thanks for the help, bro. Good to see you again, Miggy. Good, good to see you again, Ethan. See you in Japan soon, yeah? I can't wait to drive my S14 when I get home and oh, 180. Yeah, Thank you very much, Lewis. Everyone, go see Sideways Experience if you want to drive a car in Japan. Ah! He's gonna. Now I look like a fucking dickhead. Fuck off. <laughs> See you. Thanks for everything. We're back home now. Um, I hope the video turned out alright. It was just so thrown together because it was so spur of the moment. We were really busy, but um, yeah, it was something different. I had fun making this one um, and filming it. I had a great time. Can't thank the Sideways Experience enough. I know I've said that a lot, but yeah, it was a really good time. Um, and I got to see my friends again, so I'm stoked about that. So I'm keen to see them back in Japan again. Um, but yeah. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps. Um, the channel's been growing a lot more than it has lately, so I appreciate that a lot. Um, it makes a difference, and yeah, just want to thank you all for that. So there's a lot of um, content that didn't make it into the video, uh, like this. How did I get roped into this? Have fun, man. See you there. See you, man. I'm doing this so Lewis gives me a job. Oh, he's doing skins. I'm gonna capture the moment this fucking goes through the fucking It's really hard to edit this video because there's just so much going on, just so much random stuff as well. Uh, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. I wanna spend my lifetime